Welcome to the History and Focus channel. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss more videos like this one. Annie Oakley grew up in a humble family and faced many challenges from an early age. As a child, she developed impressive shooting skills, which helped support her family through hunting. Annie's talent soon caught the attention of the legendary Buffalo Bill, who invited her to join his famous show, The Buffalo Bill Wild West. Annie Oakley became one of the main attractions of the show, captivating audiences from all over the United States and Europe. The biggest attraction of Buffalo Bill was his cowboys and their shootout reenactments. The truth is that many of the cowboys in the Wild West shows were real professionals who worked as hunters, lawmen, or even criminals before joining the show. These cowboys were so good that Buffalo Bill paid them very well. In fact, many of the cowboys in the show never had to worry about financial problems because of the money they earned. Photograph taken in 1877, showing the rare record of the legendary outlaw gunslinger Billy the Kid, the infamous bandit of the American Wild West. In this historical image, he appears dressed in a white shirt, dark vest, and top hat to the left of the table, engaged in a tense card game with members of his gang. All four men keep their hands carefully hiding the cards, while on the table, there is an almost empty bottle of liquor. A young prostitute in a brothel in the state of Pennsylvania in 1892. Captured by the lens of a photographer, this image offers a glimpse of life on the margins of society during the Wild West where the trade of the body was a harsh reality for many women. Two prostitutes posing for the camera in a brothel in the state of Alaska during the Wild West in 1890. Men crowded the frontiers in search of work. This mass migration caused them to vastly outnumber women in various regions, which led to the golden age of brothels run by madams. Photograph taken in the early 1900s, showing people on the main street of the city of Manhattan in the American state of Nevada. The city of Manhattan was founded in 1867 when silver was discovered nearby. When gold was found in 1905, over 4,000 people moved to the area. A group of gold miners poses for a photograph in their cabin in Colorado in 1890. The fervor of the gold rush is an indelible part of American history, symbolizing the relentless pursuit of the dream of wealth and adventure in the inhospitable lands of the West. Seth Kinman, a skilled hunter of the Wild West, was known for his abilities. He had the honor of meeting President Andrew Johnson. He decided to give the president something unique and special, creating a truly extraordinary chair for him. The piece was made with elk horns and bearskin, giving it a rustic and impressive look. The year is 1907, and life in the American Wild West was quite different from what we know today. A very special cow became the heroine of the story. Every day, she had the important mission of taking seven children to school. Have you ever thought of going to school riding a cow? Johnson's peaceful life was interrupted when his wife was brutally executed by a crow warrior. Consumed by grief and anger, Johnson vowed revenge and embarked on a dark journey to punish all the Crow tribe members he encountered. During his revenge, he became known throughout the Wild West as the liver eater for his brutal practice of executing, scalping, and devouring the livers of his enemies. Arizona and other states profited from prostitution through the licensing of brothels, tax collection, and fines. This source of income was used for local development and to finance public projects. Prostitution in the 19th century, although legalized, faced prejudice Sex workers were often marginalized and discriminated against. Rodeos were popular events, bringing together people of all ages to celebrate the culture of the Wild West and watch exciting performances. At this rodeo in California, the audience was amazed by the extraordinary feat of a woman and her horse jumping over a convertible. This spectacular moment symbolizes the courage, skill, and passion for life that were characteristic of the spirit of the Wild West. Billy the Kid escaped from prison twice. The first time, he killed two guards before fleeing. The second time, he dug a hole in the cell wall using only a spoon. Although known as an outlaw, Billy the Kid had a charismatic personality and many friends. 
he was particularly close to Sheriff Pat Garrett before they became enemies. After Wild Bill's death, Calamity Jane visited his grave in South Dakota several times. The photo in question shows her at Wild Bill's grave in 1903, years after his death. One of the most well-known stories involving Jane and her relationship with Wild Bill is that the two met in 1876 and supposedly had a romance, although some historians question the accuracy of these accounts. One of the most famous outlaws in American history, Butch Cassidy, whose real name was Robert Leroy Parker, was born in Utah in 1866. He became famous for leading the outlaw group known as the Hole in the Wall Gang, which specialized in train and bank robberies. But what made him so famous was his ability to evade the law. He was a master of disguise and creating elaborate plans for his heists. Photograph of Olive Oatman, the woman who was kidnapped by Native Americans twice. In 1851, Olive lost her parents to a tribe of Indians when she was only 14 years old in the state of Arizona. She and her younger sister, age seven, were kept as slaves and a year later traded to another tribe in exchange for horses. The sisters were tattooed with tribal symbols on their chins. Her younger sister died of malnutrition. Pearl Hart planned and executed a daring robbery of a stagecoach in Arizona, wearing men's clothing and demonstrating audacity and courage. She surprised everyone and became a well-known outlaw, attracting the attention of authorities and the media. The Hatfield family was a typical American Wild West family. They left their mark on history through a photograph taken in 1888, where they appear together showing their pride and unity. The Hatfield photograph allows us to delve into the history of the Wild West to this day. This photo shows a unique moment in the history of stagecoaches. The Deadwood stagecoach was known as one of the safest and best protected vehicles of the time. This was because it transported mail, gold, and other valuables, making it an easy target for criminals. However, the stagecoach was very well armed with a team of brave and skilled men ready to defend the vehicle and its passengers at all costs. Men with a large pile of buffalo skulls in the American state of Michigan in 1892. The bison used to roam the plains in numbers of up to 60 million, helping to sustain the indigenous peoples by providing food, clothing, and shelter. Many Native American tribes still consider the bison a sacred and spiritual symbol of their history. Unfortunately, the westward expansion during the 19th century nearly wiped out the bison from the Great Plains. A group of hunters outside a cabin in Arizona, accompanied by their faithful hunting dogs in 1908. This rustic scene shows the camaraderie and adventurous spirit of hunters in the Wild West, who faced the untamed nature in search of sustenance and challenge. The legendary adventurer Buffalo Bill in 1899 in a photograph that encapsulates his indomitable spirit. Buffalo Bill was a buffalo hunter, tour guide, soldier, and actor, known for his rodeo shows that delighted crowds around the world with acts of horseback riding and shooting. He became one of America's first celebrities, an icon of the Wild West and its culture of bravery and spectacle. A photo of a fearsome gang of young outlaws from the Wild West in 1890 composed of African-American and Native American members. Known for their acts of kidnapping, robbery, and violence, this gang was particularly adept at escaping justice. Their crimes left a trail of fear and turmoil until they were finally captured and sentenced to death, ending an era of terror. Criminal James Miller in 1886. Miller was a hired assassin who earned between $150 to $2,000. He usually sought his victims at night, wearing a black coat to not be easily detected. It is believed that he killed about 12 people during shootouts. Miller ended up being lynched by an angry mob when he killed a U.S. Marshal. Men playing a gambling game in a bar in the state of Arizona in 1895. This photo depicts the more relaxed and social side of life in the Wild West, where saloons were centers of entertainment and camaraderie for men looking to escape the hardships of everyday life.
photograph of gunslinger and Sheriff Bill Hickok in 1873. Known for his skill with firearms and his role in numerous violent confrontations, Hickok became a legendary figure whose fame endures to this day. A photo of American General George Custer in 1863. General Custer is known for his participation in the Civil War on the Western frontier, where he and his troops were defeated by Native American tribes, a remarkable man who became a legend in the American Wild West. We are talking about Bass Reeves, the first black deputy marshal of the United States, west of the Mississippi River. In 1875, Reeves was appointed federal deputy marshal by Judge Isaac Parker, known as the Hangman of the West. Reeves excelled in his role, making over 3,000 arrests during his career. Additionally, he killed 14 outlaws in self-defense. Reeves preferred to bring criminals in alive whenever possible to face the judgment of the law. Let's go back and talk again about Pearl Hart, the mysterious figure of the Wild West. In May 1899, she and a companion robbed a train and stole about $450. But Pearl's most famous heist was the bank robbery in Globe, Arizona in June of the same year. Along with a partner, she stole about $2,500 and fled in a carriage. Wyatt Earp, one of the most famous names in the American Wild West. He moved west at the age of 21 in search of adventures and opportunities. He worked as a miner, merchant, and eventually became one of the most well-known lawmen in the West. Earp is known for his involvement in some of the most violent conflicts of the time, such as the gunfight at the OK Corral in 1881 in Tombstone, Arizona. Let's learn a little more about the story of Iron White Man, a Sioux Indian who became famous for his participation in Buffalo Bill's Wild West show. He was known for his skill with horses and his prowess with the bow and arrow. He joined Buffalo Bill's Wild West show in 1883 and quickly stood out for his thrilling performances. A historical photograph that depicts a dark period in United States history. We are talking about an 1864 photograph of a slave auction house in Atlanta, Georgia, being guarded by a Union soldier during the American Civil War. This image is one of many that remind us of how brutal the history of slavery was in the United States. An interesting character, Judge Roy Bean, known as the Law West of the Pecos, Judge Bean, who was known for being an eccentric man with a strong temper, often judged cases under the influence of alcohol. He boasted of having been appointed judge by the President of the United States himself. Although the story is disputed by historians, Joe Black Fox, a Sioux Indian who was part of the famous Buffalo Bills Wild West show. In the show, he participated in battle reenactments and tribal dance performances showcasing the traditions and customs of his people to the audience. His participation in the Wild West show also allowed him to travel the world and experience other cultures. An incredible photo from 1872 that shows a group of Paiute Indians in Utah. The Paiute are a Native American group that lived in the Great Basin region in the Western United States. They were nomadic and relied on hunting, fishing, and gathering fruits and seeds for survival. Unfortunately, their history was marked by the oppression and violence of settlers who established themselves on their lands. James Butler Hickok became better known as Wild Bill, one of the most famous gunslingers of the American Wild West. Bill was known for his skill with a gun, especially with a pair of pistols that he carried with him at all times. He was a buffalo hunter, stagecoach guide, and even a lawman but it was as a gunslinger that Bill became famous. General George Crook, one of the most well-known military leaders of the 19th century, Crook joined the United States Army in 1852 and served in various campaigns during the American Civil War. After the war, he was appointed to lead military campaigns against Native American tribes in the West, becoming one of the principal military commanders of the period. A unique moment from the American Civil War. In the image, we can see an American soldier clowning around for the camera around 1863. 
This photo is one of the rarities that allows us to see a bit of the humanity and humor that still existed amidst the chaos of war. A fascinating image of the American Wild West. It is a photo taken in 1871 by William Henry Jackson in Nebraska, showing the Native American leader, Petalisharo. At the time this photo was taken, Native American tribes were facing many challenges, including the loss of territories and the threat of forced assimilation. The interior of a saloon in the state of Utah, where one of the patrons decided to pose for an unusual photograph with his horse, around 1880. Belle Star, one of the most notorious women of the Wild West, captured in a moment of haughtiness. Belle Star, known as the Queen of Bandits, lived in the late 19th century and was involved with some of the most infamous criminals of her time, including Jesse James. Her life, shrouded in mystery and controversy, made her a legendary figure, perpetuating her fame in the history of the Wild West. A group of men in front of a saloon in the city of Miles City, in the American state of Montana, in 1880. Life was hard on the frontier. After a long day of hard work, there was not much to do but drink and chat as seen here. Chief Geronimo, a great Apache leader who fought fiercely against Mexico and the United States for the expansion into his tribe's lands in the year 1907. Geronimo began inciting numerous attacks against both parties after his wife and three children were massacred by Mexican troops in the mid-1850s. A farming family poses for a photograph in 1890 with an iconic windmill in the background, representing the perseverance and ingenuity of pioneers in the state of Nebraska. These windmills were essential for pumping water and irrigating the arid lands, symbolizing the triumph of the human spirit over the adversities of the Wild West. Notorious gunslinger Billy the Kid in 1879. Known for his skill with weapons and his indomitable courage, Billy the Kid was involved in a series of crimes that made him one of the most wanted men in New Mexico. Accused of multiple murders, including that of the Lincoln County Sheriff, his criminal life fed his legend and pursued him to his death. A family of Native Americans in a camp in the American state of Montana in 1890. This image depicts the daily life of Native Americans, capturing the essence of their traditions and the resilience of their communities in a period of great transformations and external pressures. Pat Garrett, the famous Sheriff Patrick Floyd, better known as Pat Garrett, one of the most relentless law enforcers in the Wild West. Garrett gained eternal fame for having taken down the notorious outlaw, Billy the Kid. Pat Garrett met his end in a deadly ambush on February 29, 1908. To this day, he is remembered as one of the greatest sheriffs of his time, a symbol of the fight for justice in a lawless land. Main Street of Dodge City, one of the most notorious cities of the Wild West in 1878. Along with Deadwood, Dodge City was a magnet for bandits and adventurers, housing numerous gambling halls and brothels. This was a city where law and disorder often met, creating legends like Billy the Kid and Jesse James. Columns of cavalry, artillery, and wagons, commanded by General George Custer, crossing the plains of the Dakota Territory during the 1874 expedition. Cowboys bathing in a lake at the end of a cattle drive in Kansas in 1880. Other cowboys, horses, and a wagon are also visible. Life was arduous for cowboys in the American Wild West, who spent long periods traveling with the cattle under extreme conditions. Bathing in the lake offered a rare moment of relief and refreshment, a welcome break in the exhausting routine. Photograph taken in 1873, showing a solitary church on the rocks in the New Mexico desert. This church, surrounded by the vastness of the desert, was a symbol of faith and resilience, built where the Zuni people, natives of North America, lived for millennia. The image evokes the spirituality and determination of the early inhabitants of this arid land. Businessmen with a team of 20 mules transporting borax mineral in the relentless Death Valley around 1900. This valley, located in California, is known as one of the most uninhabitable places on Earth, testing the resilience and ingenuity 
of those who ventured into its arid lands in search of mineral wealth. Photograph taken in May 1862, showing a family of settlers posing for a photo outside their farmhouse in Custer County, Nebraska. Photograph taken in 1886, showing a hopeful migrant family arriving in the American state of Nebraska. Lawmen posing for a photo with their guns in the state of Oklahoma in 1890. The lawmen of the Wild West were responsible for maintaining order in the towns and villages of the American West. They were seen as heroes, representing law and justice in a time of uncertainty and rapid changes on the Western frontier. Photograph of Calamity Jane around 1882. Celebrated for her bravery and skill in riding and shooting during the gold rush days in Dakota, Calamity Jane is considered one of the legendary women of the American Wild West. Photograph taken in 1878, showing a vast shipment of buffalo hides stored in a yard in the city of Dodge City, Kansas. Commercial hunters killed buffaloes by the thousands, leaving their carcasses to rot on the plains, a symbol of the rampant exploitation and destruction that accompanied the westward expansion. A cowboy displays his impressive lasso skills for the camera in the state of Oklahoma around 1900. Photograph taken around 1869, showing a Native American watching a newly completed transcontinental railroad in the American state of California. For some, the railroad was a symbol of modernity and national progress. For others, however, the railroad meant the diminishment of Native sovereignty and the destruction of indigenous communities and their cultures. Photograph taken in 1873, showing the majestic walls of the Grand Canyon in the state of Arizona. In the field to the left, tents of native peoples can be seen who have inhabited these lands since time immemorial. Here we can see the natural grandeur and rich cultural heritage of the American West. Photograph taken in 1904, showing a group of Navajo Native Americans crossing the Rio Grande in the American state of Arizona. Before the Mexicans, these Chinese railroad workers were the most hated immigrants in the West. They earned a dollar a day, while white workers earned about $2.50. In addition, they had to set up their own camps and provide their own food. While all this was provided for the white workers, this photograph illustrates the harsh reality of Chinese workers whose contribution to the construction of railroads was invaluable despite the unfair treatment and discrimination they faced. Photo of the city of Deadwood in the state of South Dakota. The main street is crowded with people and wagons, marking the early steps of this iconic Wild West town. Deadwood is one of the cities that would later be immortalized in countless Western films and series. A company of Texas Rangers from the Wild West, posing for a photo in a photographic studio in 1885. These men, belonging to one of the most legendary law enforcement agencies of the Wild West, were the guardians of justice throughout the vast state of Texas. They participated in numerous crucial events in the history of the American West. Wagons and people on the busy main street of the city of Helena, shortly after the discovery of gold in the American state of Montana in 1870, Helena quickly transformed into a hub of activity, attracting thousands of adventurers and prospectors in search of fortune in the Golden Hills of the West. The Homestead Act, enacted in 1862, allowed any American citizen to claim up to 160 acres of public land, provided they built a residence and cultivated the land for at least five years. Many families ventured to Nebraska in search of these lands and a better life. They faced numerous difficulties and challenges to establish their farms and build their homes. They had to deal with extreme weather, lack of resources and loneliness. In 1910, the Wild West was still living the last moments of its legendary era. Cowboys and their horses were iconic figures, symbols of freedom and bravery. This photograph taken in Wild West Bonham, Texas, shows us a lone cowboy sitting next to his faithful companion, the horse on a hill. The cowboy's life was hard and challenging. They spent long periods riding across the vast plains, tending cattle, and facing the dangers of the Wild West. This photo depicts a group of cowboys in their local bar, enjoying a drink and the company of their colleagues. The image, 
captured in 1907 in the old town of Tascosa, Texas, gives us a glimpse of everyday life in the American Wild West. It is interesting to note the expressions on the men's faces, some smiling and others with a more serious demeanor. Annie Oakley was the stage name of Phoebe Ann Mosey from Ohio, whose skill with a gun was discovered when she was 15 years old and defeated a traveling sharpshooter in a shooting competition. She eventually became a famous sharpshooter in her own right, thanks to her ability to thrill audiences with her daring feats. Annie Oakley was one of the first women to compete professionally in a male-dominated sport. She stood out at a time when women were considered incapable of performing dangerous tasks. This image captures a historical moment in medicine during the Wild West period, depicting Dr. Sayre, a renowned orthopedic surgeon, in his office in the late 19th century. Dr. Sayre is seen applying a pioneering technique he developed for the treatment of scoliosis. He is examining the curvature of a patient's spine with the help of an innovative device he created that involved the use of a metal brace designed to gradually correct the spine's curvature, demonstrating a significant advancement in orthopedic treatments of the time. A peculiar New Year's ritual during the Wild West period involving women kneeling before their husbands to ask for forgiveness for the mistakes and annoyances they caused them throughout the year. Around 1900, Rose Dunn, also known as Rose of Cimarron. She was born in Oklahoma around 1878, and her family was known for being involved in criminal activities. However, Rose decided to follow a different path and became a nurse. Nevertheless, she fell in love with an outlaw named George and ended up getting involved in his crimes. In 1895, she was arrested along with her family after a shootout with local sheriffs. Cowboy Nat Love around 1900, a remarkable figure of the American West. Born a slave, Nat Love became a symbol of freedom and resilience in the post-Civil War period. Known for his exceptional skills as a cowboy, he represents the struggle of African Americans for equality and recognition during a time of great challenges and changes. 